Hi, today we will take a look on this three axis MEMS gyroscope. This is the quartz red sensor. They are on this thing three identical sensors which are placed orthogonally from each other. The sensor itself was produced by Cistron donor. The reference is here, it is difficult to see, but we can see that it is QRS11. So I have found the small datasheet of this one. It is here. You can see the main characteristics here. The sensitivity is here, plus or minus 100 degrees per second. There is a 10 pins connector here. We can see this connector here on this PCB. So on that PCB, uh, there is here a resistor array of 10K. There is uh, here an e -prom. Probably this one is used to store calibration data. And there is another part here. And there is a sticker on it. We can try to remove this sticker. Okay. So this is an AD. I cannot read AD7 or something. So this is a military part. You have uh, the standard 883 something. Uh, so this is probably an ID 704. Uh, so this seems to be a quad pump because I have already used in another life an ID 706. Uh, this is a single op pump with a super beta input transistors which promise to have a small bias current uh, constant more or less with temperature. So this is probably the a quad version of the ID 706. So we have also on that board uh, four tantalum capacitors for power supply filtering. This is a small document showing the principle of this thing. You have a very small micro machine the tuning fork. Actually, it is a dual tuning fork. So you have one driving tuning fork and a second one which is a readout tuning fork. The driving tuning fork is oscillating, so the readout tuning fork is also oscillating with the same frequency. The amplitude of oscillation of the readout tuning fork is proportional to the amplitude of oscillation of the driving tuning fork plus the angular velocity on that axis here. So first we will see uh, what is uh, inside. We should find the sensor itself and then we will try to open the sensor and to see under a microscope uh, this uh, micro machined tuning fork. I had to destroy a little bit the PCB as you can see. Uh, this thing is glued inside as you can see. It will be very difficult to remove this thing. I have cut here. You can see that this thing can be separated. You can see a PCB. Oh, this is a very specific IC probably. I don't think that there is a chance to find the data sheet uh, of this part. Okay, but the main interesting thing is this unit. Okay. All the magic is inside this thing. There is a serial number, of course, 51969. So now I don't know how to open this thing. It is something like a watch, but not sure. Probably this thing is laser soldered. It seems soldered by laser. This will be difficult to open, I think. It is very difficult to open this thing. There is a very thick metallic cover here. And uh, with the saw, I think I have destroyed something inside. You can hear. Yes, I don't know if I... Uh, yes, I have two others. But it's, it is complicated to open this thing. And I think that the tuning fork is totally destroyed. Look at that. Yeah, 
Look at that. There is a kind of ceramic base, but the tuning fork is here. Okay, I will try to open another one. I hope I will have more success. So, what do we have? Look at that. Let's see this thing under a microscope. 